First of all, on March 23rd, this past week, we had Atheist Day. And so we wanted to go through and show some highlights from Atheist Day, some of the best and coolest things that people posted and shared to celebrate. And we actually got some very amazing news to share just in time for Atheist Day. So I am here to tell you guys that we received word from our sources in Iran that Sohail Arabi, the imprisoned Iranian atheist that we've been advocating for, um, was released from prison on bail on March 19th. So huge cause for celebration. Huge cause for celebration. The news comes just in time for Nowruz. Um, and while, well, of course, we're overjoyed to hear of Sohail's release, um, we also received the news that his father passed away. So that's really sad and unfortunate. Um, but obviously, for Sohail, like he's probably not out of the woods yet, so to speak. You, you know, he's released on bail. So there is still a bit of a precarious legal situation going on, and we are going to continue to monitor his situation and be sure that we're there for him to advocate for him and for his rights and for his safety um, in the face of the Iranian regime. Um, but I just had to celebrate because I was so excited, and um, it, it, it was perfect. It was a perfect Nowruz gift and a perfect Atheist Day gift. Um, so with that being said, that was our happiest news for Atheist Day 2023. That's 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 the biggest highlight, definitely. But we also have a lot of highlights from our global community, not only the Atheist Republic community, but the atheist global atheist community at large. So Armin, can you please pull up the um, stuff that I have uh, collected for review? You have sent me a lot of stuff. So one by one, yeah? Do yeah, or if you could, I think it'd probably be easiest if you just like share the whole window and then. So the biggest thing, guys, this is huge. On Atheist Day, we actually had Representative Congressman Jared Huffman of California post in celebration of Atheist Day. So he said no. the secular coalition is a fantastic partner in our work on the congressional free thought caucus thanks for inviting me to your event on hashtag atheist day and all you do to protect Crazy. the secular nature of our government so i believe this is the first time we've ever seen a government official posting hashtag atheist day happy atheist day this is huge i think jared huffman is i believe the first openly humanist um congressman ever there's only right now we only have i think two um representatives that are non openly non-religious and one of them is J um jared huffman who's a democrat in california and he does a lot of really really good work and um a lot of good work with the secular secular coalition i believe he's done some work with ex-muslims of north america so i was it, it's huge that we now have like a government official openly acknowledging atheist day how crazy is that um that is yeah. crazy that really, is insane really I can't... yeah guys it's official like we're the government we have part of the government you know officially recognizing atheist day <laughs> so this is great i honestly couldn't believe like i had to like check him like is this real is this a real account i don't like there's there's a blue check it's verified it, it seems to be him <laughs> Yeah, I was like, wow, Atheist Day is now recognized. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> All right, so that's the first one. We have a lot here to share for about Atheist Day. Let's go to the next one. <clears throat> oh, well, this is this what one. I shared for Atheist Day. <laughs> yeah, guys, this is such a good one. Go on. Yeah, I, I just wanted to show, like, I, you know, the green circle. I um, actually, one of our Atheist Republic volunteers took me to a museum that he's opening up and I took uh, a photo there and I was like, you know what? There's green all over my face. I can use this for atheist day. Um, but anyways, I just made a post about how atheist day coincides with the beginning of Ramadan this year. And I shared a bunch of tips for people on how to take care of themselves. If they're um, trying to break their fast secretly on in the, the rest of the, the slides. 
Um, yeah, this is such a good post. So let's look at the rest. So this is tips for ex-Muslims during Ramadan. So the reason this is this was this year Atheist Day was also the first day of Ramadan. So it's so fitting that Susie has a post talking about, you know, talk, using the Atheist Day uh, logo and talking about ex-Muslims during Ramadan. So what did yeah? These are tips on. How to survive? Do you want to explain? Oh, so basically Dolly, who is the lovely leader of our Atheist Republic Arabic community, made these. And so I uh, posted them and credited her. And yeah, she just mm -hmm. gives tips translated in English and Arabic about like where you can hide food and maybe how you can sneak things and drink water and where to hide water, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. By the way, uh, fasting, the Islamic way of fasting is really bad for you. I don't know if people know that. Do you think? Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Oh, young <laughs> atheist is saying your tips are very helpful for me. Thank you so much, Susanna. Hey, we'll really say thank you to Dolly. You, you know, I got the idea from her. I thought I would just share. Oh, this is cool. So this is a German organization that we've worked with before, and they posted these photos for Atheist Day. Can you click through some of them? Um, oh, this is great. I want to do a photo shoot like this. Like we, we, Armin, the two of us need photos like this. With yes. the projected circles on the faces. It's so cool. And this is Adrian. We met Adrian in Cologne. Do you remember? Yes. He's super yes, nice. Yes. Yeah. I know these people. I met, yeah. Guys, if you're interested in German language atheist content, go follow Adrian Reason. Great guy. Mm -hmm. um, do I follow this? Yeah, I'm following it. Good. <clears throat> okay. Next one. Oh, this one is good, yeah. Yes, okay. Armin, can you explain this and why it's important? <clears throat> this is this is my friend, uh, Sam Rajabi, who is a major person when it comes to the Mahsa revolution that is happening right now in Iran. So he's a major figure. He's a major activist. And, you know, him coming out and celebrating Atheist Day means a lot to us because he's a big deal and has a big audience so a lot of people get to see and get exposed to atheist day because he decided to celebrate it as well yeah yeah i was really was excited good. to see this it made me so happy to see some yeah this one okay I, these are oh so the reason why i numbered them was because i want to know which do you remove the number oh number. Yeah. Sorry. So I, the reason why I'm numbering them is because I want to. The list is big, so I don't know which part of the list I am. So let me keep that number. Um. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> it says there's a post that has been reported for copyright on Facebook. Hold on, let me see. What? Yeah. Hold on one second. I'll be with you guys in a short second. So no, I have it. <clears throat> oh, you have it? Yeah, let me just a second. Can you um can you prep a bunch of them all at once instead of pulling these links up one by one, please? Yeah, okay. So but let me just get rid of this because I I need to be able to see there we go. <clears throat> okay, so this one. Oh yes, this, this is our friend Casey. <laughs> Yeah, I loved this photo. He he did it differently this year. He just put himself in a green room all together. <laughs> Casey is a great one of our community members on Facebook, and he watches this show on Facebook usually, and uh, I talk to him sometimes. And he just talks about his like journey of um, being an atheist and how his disability, like people ask him about, you know, is it hard to be godless and have a disability and stuff? Because, you know, a lot of people assume that the only way you can live with the disability is believing in a higher power or something like that. And um, yeah, I just really, I loved his post. It was so cute. And I love that he has a photo of House in a wheelchair at the bottom saying, I'm an atheist. <laughs> it's just cute. Yeah. Look at these pictures. Mm -hmm. Green line. Yeah. All right. So the reason why I have to um, get them one by one is because if I open them all together, there would be uh, there would be a lot of mess. Oh, what is this one? This is another post by Sam. So, well, you you can 
can you explain the context? So for those who don't know, Wassam well, Rajabi is who Armin just explained that he is a major figure in the Iranian opposition. And he mm. made this post for Atheist Day and he included a screenshot of a story oh, from yes, Majid yes, Reza Rahmavard. And Majid Reza Rahmavard is one of the protesters who was executed by the Iranian government for participating in the Iranian revolution. And he had a couple of quotes that went viral. Yeah. But can can you give us a translation and explain the rest, please? So the the quote on the screen says, "Salam terin mardum jahan bidin hami mashan." He said, "The healthiest people in the world are people with their religion, religion, vanam khodaay an havaj danas." And he says, "And their and the name of their God is um, their conscious." So basically, yeah. So that's what he's saying. So this is if people discovered that this guy was an atheist after after what happened to him um oh this is him at the time of his arrest um do you guys want me to actually i don't know if i should play that because yeah that's i don't think YouTube we can guideline. yeah that's against youtube guys that was literally sure. right before they brought him for execution <clears throat> they, but can you yeah, explain the rest he, of can you translate the rest of psalm's post because i really liked it oh yeah Okay, so some is saying Emruz Bisusay March Ruza Jahani bi Khodayambut since today the twenty third of March was the uh International Day of Atheists. Uh Jodar Yadikunim as Osuraya Ozadigi Majidraza Rahnavar is so it's it's a good it's a good time for us to remember the legend of freedom Majidraza Rahnavar. Keba Goftar Ba Kedarash Rahra Bemanashunda. Um, so the, the person who showed us with his words and his actions, he showed us the way. من باور دارم ایران اولین کشوری در خواهر میانه خواهد بود که بر رانسانس میرسه. Like some saying, I believe that Iran is the first country in the Middle East that will have a renaissance. خرد ورزی و تفکر نقاد جایگزین ادیان و ماهومات میشه. He's saying that critical thinking and rationalism will uh, take the place of religions and superstitions. ناگفته نمونه or yeah ناگفته نمونه ما باورمند به آزادی ادیان هم هستیم like but let it be said that we also believe in the freedom of religions um اما دین از هسته های قدرت باید به پایین کشیده شود به پایین کشیده شود however religion has to be taken down from the um the centers of power so that's what he said so it's basically secularism yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I really loved this post from Sam. Oh, I miss this guy. Secular rarity. Yes, I had to <laughs> include, of course, a post from our very own secular rarity celebrating Atheist yeah. Day with his partner. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, that's his partner. Um, wait, where was I? By, by the way, guys, the Q and A's secular rarity is away. That's why the Q and A's are not there for now. But he will be back, and the Q and A's will continue. So, but he's like now traveling or something. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Oh, this one is one of my favorites from Iran. This was yes. So this is the, I think, school textbook, which is the Quran for school. And they tear out the Khomeini picture at the top and they put Allah on his forehead and devil horns. Hey, don't disrespect the devil. I don't know why you do that. And then the green circle and Iran in green. And also this is one of the symbols of the new year in Iran for the half cent table. And then we have the next one. Oh, you're editing it as I go. So there we go. Here's another one from Iran. Oh, look, this is a very meaningful caption. So guys, we got Atheist Day is celebrated a lot in Iran, right? So there is this one, th there's no community that celebrates Atheist Day more than the Persian community. Yeah, Iranian yeah, community. yeah. So you can see the, the person is not showing his face. And the caption says, uh, for the day that... I don't have to hide my face in fear. No? So I don't have to hide my identity out of fear, right? Because, yeah. So then there's this one. Did you did you include the ones I sent you? Oh, yes, you did. Yeah. So let me show. <laughs> these are, oh, my God. These are so Iranian. I don't know how to explain how Iranian. <laughs> this is. 
<laughs> okay, hold on, let me. We don't Wait, have audio. I don't know why is. Well, I don't know why Instagram doesn't let me. It's so stupid. How could I go to the beginnings so I could start with audio? The ADHD. Uh, Rose ATS Mubarak. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I hope that's not a happy ADHD. Yeah, so that was the beginning idea that I couldn't play. So let's go to the next one. This was the first Instagram, the second Instagram post. Oh, this one is one of my favorites. Yes, okay, so this is further proof that, like I said, you know, click through the slides on this, though. Further proof to my thesis that no Look one celebrates Atheist Day like the Iranian community. <laughs> <laughs> Look at I don't that. see the this the community that I see posting about it second to Iranians would be people from India. Yes, unfortunately, we didn't have access to them because we're banned in India or on I social know. media. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. So our Twitter is banned in India and our Facebook is banned in India. So we didn't get to see a lot of that this year, but hopefully. So, but look at these. Oh my God. So this Guess is what, Armin. I even had a friend of mine who helps run the local Iranian demonstrations I do here. Um, message me, Happy Atheist Day. Really? Yes. The people. Wow. <laughs> crazy. I was like, "How do you know?" Oh, India. <laughs> oh, is this India? Oh, this is our new man. Oh, this <laughs> is new man. Hey, our very own Newman, guys. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you. Look at all the things he wrote. Happy Atheist Day, ex-Muslim, atheist, trans rights, LGBTQA rights, atheist republic right down here, woman rights, woman life, woman life freedom. Oh, <laughs> uh, what is this? Freedom of expression. Mental health is also important, of course. True. And hashtag free free speech. <laughs> oh, this you is love great! It. I love it. Yeah, I love, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you for this, Newman. That is amazing. Okay, let's go. Last is this the last one? Or no? There's more. Three more at the bottom. And this one, another one from India, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so our Instagram is active in India. That's why we got the Indian, the Indian ones from. And then another one from India. Yeah, you're right. It's the main countries. The main people are Persians and Indians who celebrate Atheist Day more than everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. Yeah, hold on. This one was five N. Two more. No, oh, this, this one is, I think is Turkish. No, no, wait. What language is this? Let me. I can't see. It looks small to me. Yeah, it's Turkish. It's Turkish. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, good. We I did see a lot of tweets from Turkey as well, but for me, I love to see all the different languages, like people in you know Arabic and Persian and Turkish. I saw a bunch in Spanish. <laughs> so look, it says Godless is the greatest. It's my freedom. I congratulate the day of of all atheist friends. Interesting. And here's one. <clears throat> okay, this is atheist oh, yeah. day. I think this, this is, is Via del this Atio. Is, what is, what language is that? Spanish. It says just happy atheist Spanish. day. Spanish. Yes. Oh, good Spanish too. Very global. It's a very global event. I like that. Yeah. So that was the last one, right? Yep. That was just some this, selections. There were many more. There, there were many, many more. I would say this year, Atheist Day was very successful. Very successful. Yeah. There was I mean, like we, got, we got government success. recognition. Or we yeah. got <laughs> government official recognition, I should say. N guys, I have a mission for you guys. Before the next Atheist Day, next year, we need to make something happen. Okay? We, the right way, no spammy, no spammy, spammy. We have to figure out the proper way, the way that is approved, okay, to get a Wikipedia page up for Atheist Day, okay? Let's mm. make this happen before the next Atheist Day so it's officially recognized on Wikipedia. Especially, this is very important because a lot of AI answers are going to be based on Wikipedia, right? So... 
to get this on Wikipedia is going to mean that a lot of people will get that answer regarding what Atheist Day is. Oh, we got a super chat. Yeah, Thank let's you, read that TGA. at the end. Oh, okay. Leave that at the end. Well, I thought it is the end. Oh, I thought you were in the middle of a oh. sentence. No, no, I'm done. So, but like, that's your mission. So go make that happen. So you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.